Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome. Today, we have a review of something that nobody else recommends. Everybody tells you, don't get a Serpa holster. Don't do it. It's the worst holster ever. There's all kinds of problems with it. Don't ever get a Serpa holster. But I'll tell you what, those people, they don't carry the Serpa holster. They don't use a Serpa holster for their everyday carry. I do. I've been using a Serpa holster for my everyday carry. I normally carry a Glock 17. Slide lock back to the rear, gun is unloaded, we are glared. So normally my everyday carry is a Glock 17 and that's how I normally carry it. Folks, this is not a concealed carry handgun um, holster. It's not. It's it's more of a holster for outside the waist. It is an outside the waistband holster and it makes it, you have to dress appropriately if you want to use this as a carry holster. It's really hard to conceal carry holster. I've had both the outside the waistband holster and I've had the Kydax inside the waistband holster and this sticks out a lot further than the inside the waistband holsters. But what I'm here to talk about today is this is a viable option. I've been carrying it for years. Um, I originally got the Black Hawk, I don't know, 10 years ago now, maybe more, I don't remember. But point being, I've been carrying this a lot for my everyday carry and I carry every day. And like I said, this is a really good holster for outside the waistband. And it's not only outside the waistband, but also open carry. Here in, uh, I live in Virginia. Here in Virginia, we have open carry without a permit. So this is my preferred holster because I walk around open carry because I'm a badass. And um, you guys can debate about that all day long, open carry versus concealed carry. I open carry. There's a number of reasons I might get into those because we're going to be talking about holsters. Um, I'm also a security guard. I'm a security guard that carries a gun. And this is not the holster that I use to carry at work, but I do use a Blackhawk Serpa uh, holster. It is a triple retention holster, and I carry a Beretta at work. If that kind of gives away where I might work. No, I'm not active duty military. I'm just a security guard, and I'm just a civilian. But I do carry an M9 Beretta at work, and I carry my M9 in a Serpa holster. Not like this. The one that I carry at work is more of a duty holster. It's a triple retention uh, holster, and it has the, not the paddle like this, but it has the actual duty belt loops as the attachment. So let's get into the Serpa holster and why you should consider it, because everybody else will tell you, don't get the Serpa holster. There are training schools, and there are... Uh, classes that you can take, and they'll put on their website, don't bring a Serpa holster because they hate Serpa holsters, but they never use a Serpa holster to carry, and they're they're basing this information off somebody's opinion. And so I'm here to give you a different opinion today because I carry this every day. I've been carrying it for probably about 10 years now, and I've had zero issues and zero problems. So let's get into how the Serpa holster works. All right, so again, gun is still unloaded. It's going to be unloaded the whole time, but the slide's going to be forward. So the way the Serpa holster works is you push the button here and then you pull the gun out. Now the first thing that people are going to talk about is how if you have a Serpa holster, your finger is going to negligently go onto the trigger and you're going to have a negligent discharge. Well, I'm here to show you today. Here is the trigger. Here's where your finger needs to be. That's where your trigger finger needs to be to pull the trigger. That's not how the Serpa holster works. You cannot pull the gun out with your finger down here. Your finger goes up here. You push in and it slides out. And if you, even if I really push down hard, my finger lands right there. That's where my finger goes when I pull out of the Serpa holster. Now, the next complaint that I've heard people talk about is that if something gets stuck in the button, you won't be able to push the button and your gun won't come out of the holster. I've seen one video of one person who was in a really gritty, rocky con uh, environment and they got something stuck and wedged into that button and they couldn't push it and they couldn't get their gun out. Okay, fair argument. The Kydexes and the leather holsters are never going to have that issue. However, unless you're in that rocky, granule, granule environment, unless you're rolling around in the sand, uh, you know, it won't be an issue. Like I said, the button that you need to actually push, you don't have to actually push that far. Here it is locked, all right, can't get it out, and then you push it literally that much and the gun comes out. So it's not like you have to push this thing all the way down to get it out. You just have to push it enough to unlock it, and then it comes right out. And it's not much. It's, it's centimeters, guys. Maybe millimeters. I don't know. But it's, it's super short distance that you need to push it, and it comes right out. So the whole issue about your gun's going to get jammed in your holster 
it's not impossible. Anything's possible. But this whole argument that your gun's going to get stuck because the button's going to get jammed, again, unless you're in the desert, the desert might not be the best place for this. You know, if you if you walk around on parking lots that are dirt parking lots and, and stuff like that, maybe the holster, this one isn't the best idea for you. But me, personally, I don't go into places that are dirt roads and sandy conditions and things like that. Not to say that I never will be, but the odds of me ending up in a place like that and having a rock get jammed somehow. Again, so the gun's in the holster. There's not a lot of daylight. Okay, so if a rock gets down in there somehow, or if it gets, you know like that, you know, it's really hard for a rock to get jammed up in there. It, you know, it's not like this thing is just loose and, and wobbling around. Sorry for pointing the gun at myself, but I'm just trying to show you guys, you know, the, the odds of a rock getting stuck in there. And again, this is the same kind of thing. You know, it's, it, where is, how does this rock get stuck in there? I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying, you know, it's not like this thing is just wide open and gapping and, and there's all kinds of problems with it. So, Again, the first thing that people say is you're going to have a negligent discharge. No, because you push the button down, and even if you push hard and the finger's right there, your finger still lands there, and I'm still pushing really hard. So, yeah, you can slip. You can slip. But, you know, if you're just normally pulling the gun out, as you should be, then your finger comes up along the slide exactly where it should be. That's a perfect – some people like to be really high. That's great. Cool. I personally think this is fine. You're still along the slide. Your finger is still pointed here, and you're not down here. Some people will, will say that, you know, have it, have your trigger finger ready. That's not smart. That's that's violating safety rules, okay? So, again, you push the button and you keep your finger straight and it ends up right there. So, this whole argument that you're going to have a negligent discharge because you have a circle holster, your finger has to go to the trigger as always. So, if it's, it's not the holster's fault that people have had negligent discharges with this holster. It's the people's fault. Okay, so like I said, I've been carrying this holster for about 10 years, and I like it. I, this is my holster that I like a lot. I have other holsters I have inside the waistband. Let me go grab it real quick for you here. I went ahead and I uh, patronized the great people over at T-Rex Arms. This is my Kydex inside the waistband uh, appendix carry for my Glock as well. I'm fat. I don't know if you could tell. I'm fat. This shit don't work for me, y'all. It just doesn't. I I want it to work, but this is meant for skinny people. This this is my where's my Glock 19? Here we go. My Glock 19, right? Great gun to carry in this uh, appendix inside the waistband Kydex holster. Great gun, right? Great great holster. I have no issues with this. It goes on really super easy. You basically just clip your belt in there, and then when you're taking it off, you just lift the clips and you pull it right out. No big deal. Bing, bada boom, great holster, not for fat people. I know I need to work on my weight, and I am, and I am. I got my handy duty, let me pull up my thing here. <sighs> I got my handy duty Apple Watch, okay, so I'm working on it. Everybody's got their journey. Back to the Serpa. <laughs> so, the things I really love about this holster. Number one, easy to get on and off. It's, it's a lot like the uh, T-Rex Arms holster. You just uh, put it on the belt, it clips in, and you're good. And this thing, and one of the things I like about this is you'll notice this little clip right here. This keeps it from moving off your pants, right? So this is like a little hook, and when it's on there, it's you got you to gotta kind of move the paddle off to get the gun out. But it's not hard to do. You can just simply, you know, lift and, and you're good. So it's easy to get on and off. And it fits both the uh, compact Glock and it fits the full-size Glock. So it's the 19 and the 17. That's the only two Glocks I have right now. I uh, might be getting more Glocks here in the future. These are Gen 3 Glocks. This is a Glock 17, and that's the Glock 19. And as you can see, the Glock 17, the barrel sticks out on the end. However, that, I think, is a benefit because the Serpa leaves that open where you can fit a full-size. You could fit a Glock 34 in here if you wanted to. And the Glock 19 fits fine without the barrel sticking out. So depending on your preference of what size gun you want to carry, the Glock 19, the Glock 17, and any caliber. So those are the 9mm models. If you have the 40, the 45, the 357, whatever model you have, the, the compact and the full size are going to fit into the Serpa holster. So that's great. It's, it's versatile. You don't have to have a Glock 19 holster, a Glock 17 holster, a Glock 34 holster, and, and etc. You can have one holster and it'll 
pretty much fit because of the opening at the bottom here. The only thing that it doesn't have is it doesn't have a light, so you can't, you know, no lights here, and, and the, it's not able to fit a light um, in its current configuration, but those surfer holsters are available. Another thing that's great about the holster is the fact that it's interchangeable. So if you don't like the paddle, you can go ahead and get the belt loop one where it's a, it's a closed system and you got to put your belt through it. You can do that, and it's just simply you take the screws out, and then you know you switch out this, you keep this holster, and then you switch out how you want to attach it to your person, whether it be paddle or belt loops. Uh, another thing that I like about the holster, and, and something I've um, learned that's come to me recently, is the cant and the tilt. So as in the current configuration, I have it tilted like so, so when I go to grab my gun, it's, it's sitting on my belt like so, and then it's kind of tilted this way, so it's a little bit more comfortable to, to grab. It's just, for me, I, when it sits on my waist, it's just kind of, it's a little bit more canted down, so my hand isn't so like this. It's more natural to come in a little bit of a cant and, and draw it like that. So that's one thing I, I actually learned recently. I've been, I had been carrying this uh, holster straight up and down forever. I mean, for years. And then I'm like, well, what if I tilt it? Let's see how that works. And I put the screws in, and it's now at the full tilt. So you can have it uh, straight up and down. You can have it one click over, or you can have it two clicks over. And you know, so here's the straight up and down. Here's one click over, and this is where I have it right now at the full tilt. And you can see it's not like sideways. It's just at a nice, I don't know, 15 degrees, something like that something like that, and it's super easy to do. Now, here's a con about the Serpa holster and, and problems that I've had. These screws, if you're going to leave it the way, if you're gonna have it one way and like it and you're gonna leave it that way, lock tight these screws because I have had the screws fall out. And I've come home and I'm like, why is my holster so loose? And the holster right now is kind of loose. Like right now I'm trying to hold, I'll, I'll hold the paddle and I can kind of show you it, 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 it does move. So it's, a couple cons, you know, it's not the most be-all, end-all holster, but it is an option. A lot of people, like I said, have these classes in these schools, and they're like, don't even bring a Serpa holster to our school because they're dangerous holsters. No, they're not. You don't know what you're talking about, brother. Sorry, I know you're a better instructor than I am. I know you have more experience in that, but you've never carried the Serpa holster, and you're just going off what other people are telling you. And it, I'm telling you, it's not perfect, but, you know, like I said, you lock tight the screws, you get them set where you want to, and then you tighten them up, and then you lock tight them, or whatever you want to do, glue them, I don't know, um, and then you're good. And it's a great holster. Like I said, this this plastic bends all kinds of crazy ways, and, you know, I've, I've never broken the paddle, and I've, you know, you could twist it and bend it and stuff like that, and I think that's a good thing. Another thing, a lot of respect goes out to active self-protection. They talk about a, a holster needing to be secure, so this thing stays in. There is no, the gun isn't loose, you know, the, whole, the holster might be loose on the paddle, but the gun doesn't come loose. The gun sits there, and it can... You know, you can have it sitting there shaking around, so if you're in a fist fight, you know, your gun's not going to fly out of the holster. Another thing is it covers the trigger guard completely, absolutely does. You're not going to have a negligent discharge while this gun is in this holster. You, you physically cannot do it. it. You cannot, there is no way to get to the trigger at all in any way, shape, or form. You can't do it. Okay, so another slight problem, and again, I'll, I'll be honest with the cons, the magazine release right here on the 19, this is the uh, compact model, it's exposed a little bit. So here is the complete, here is the complete coverage and the, and the magazine, I can feel it right down here. So that's the 19 and that's not ideal. All right, and then you have the 17 and the 17 sticks out even more. You can even see it a lot more. So can it be a problem that you can lose a magazine because something could get bumped? Yeah, not ideal. Maybe Serpa has, maybe Blackhawk has updated the design and maybe they've given us a little bit more of a magazine cover or magazine release cover. Um, so that's one little, one little design flaw. But again, in the 10 years I've been carrying this holster, I think I've lost one magazine one time. And it was because I was sitting in such a way that the magazine button hit the chair that I was sitting in. Okay, so... 10 years of wearing this thing, and don't ever really have magazines falling out. I just don't. It doesn't happen. Like I said, it's happened one time where I was sitting in a chair, and the magazine release got pushed, and the mag fell out. So, a lot of days, a lot of carrying, a lot of walking, a lot of doing a lot of stuff in and out of cars every single day, in and out of cars, because I carry this to work, and then... I carry it home, I carry it out in public, I carry it to the mall, to the movies, everywhere and anywhere. 
The only problem I have, like I said, is because it's outside the waistband, it does stick out quite a bit. I actually did a little bit of a test in this compared to that. And this thing puts it puts your firearm a lot closer to your body, and it's a little bit easier to conceal carry than it is this. This thing with concealed carry, I got to wear baggy shirts. So um, I wear, like, extra large shirts and t-shirts and I always wear two t-shirts this is actually an undershirt I was wearing today and then I had another shirt on top of it to conceal carry this gun but I was wearing this holster so I wasn't wearing this holster today but um, had I been wearing it I just this goes on my strong side hip I don't uh, try to appendix carry this I just kind of strong side hip it and then I, I wear a big t-shirt on top of it. So again, if you're looking at concealed carry, if you're in a state like South Carolina or something that requires concealed carry, there is no open carry, especially Washington, D.C., where they've gone shall issue with their permits. You can look it up. It shall issue. Um, you still have to conceal carry. When I took my D.C. carry permit class, they said it's an issue. If you get caught printing, then you're getting in trouble for carrying and the rest of it, like not carrying concealed, essentially. So if you're in a place where concealed carry is required and you can't get caught with printing, then, you know, not carrying a Glock 17 is going to be your first step. Not carrying a full-size gun, not carrying a Glock 34, carrying maybe a compact instead of a 17 to carry a 19 or carry the 26 or whatever the subcompact model is, whatever makes you happy. But uh, in Virginia, like I said, we have open carry without a permit. I don't care. I open carry everywhere I can. If I think for one minute my carrying a firearm is going to be an issue, I throw my T-shirt on top of it, I do what I got to do, and then I open carry as soon as I can. And I'll explain that in another video. Um, but that's the Serpa holster, guys. It's Blackhawk Serpa. It's the CQC her, uh, model. I don't know if I can get Blackhawk's thing in there there it is there's blackhawk.com you can you can uh you can find yourself one where i got this from actually was lapolicegear.com for some reason they're cheaper over there i don't know how or why but whenever i look for blackhawk serpa holsters i usually look at lapolicegear.com because for some reason they have cheaper serpa cqc holsters and uh, DD holsters and the rest of it. And there's a lot of options, like I said. So if you are one of the people that uh, likes to have their uh, firearm with a light on the attached to it, very smart thing to do when you're carrying a firearm, then they make uh, Serpa holsters that are light bearing. So that's an option for you. Again, the Serpa holster, even though it gets a bad rap, I've been carrying it for a long time. I've had none of the problems. I've had the biggest problem is the screws, okay? I don't lock tight the screws and. I change these out a lot. So I, I use this paddle on other Serpa holsters that I have because I have a multitude of different guns and I like these paddle holsters. So I'll take this paddle holster and move it to another gun, etc., etc. So that's why I don't lock tight the screws. But if you guys have a Glock of some sorts and you find the configuration, maybe you like it straight up and down, maybe you like it with the tilt, however you like it, put it that way. And then I would definitely recommend lock tighting your screws because these do walk out and they do get loose. And they do fall out and your, your paddle holster does get loose and it does wiggle. So the only cons I can think of are that, you know, like I said, the screws coming out and things like that and the magazine release not being a hundred percent coverage, but I haven't had any issues. I've been carrying this gun for 10 years, this holster for 10 years, and I haven't lost any magazines. So, uh, Blackhawk Serpa CQC holster, Consider it, look into it. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe you like the Kydex, maybe you can't do outside the waistband carry, and so you have to have the inside the waistband Kydex stuff, and that's on you. So cool. Um, as you know, this is not any kind of paid endorsement. This is, if you look at my channel, two subscribers, I think. I'm not getting any money for this, guys. So this is a God's to Honest review. I've been carrying this, this holster for a number of years. I like it, I choose it, I prefer it, it's more comfortable. The inside the waistband holsters, like these ones, are not comfortable because I am way overweight and I got about 50 pounds to lose. I hope I can get there one day and this will probably become my preferred method. But right now, because of my belly, I'm not going to be able to, to do that comfortably. And then I have all kinds of problems trying to carry inside the waistband. So outside the waistband is the preferred method of carry for me. And if I'm going to carry outside the waistband, I like carrying a Serpa holster because of a myriad of reasons that I've listed. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you consider this. Um, add it to the list of things that you carry or consider carrying. Look into it, and maybe you can get a comfortable holster. That way, when you're carrying, you're carrying in a good way so that your firearm is secure, your trigger is covered, and you're not going to lose your gun off your belt. 
please don't carry your guns in your pockets just loosely. Please don't just throw them in some Uncle Mike's. You know, those are really actually bad holsters. Um, I've had to deal with them. So uh, get yourself a decent holster. Get something Kydex. Get something like a Serpa holster. You know, a quality holster is, is needed. You don't want to just be kind of willy-nilly. I've seen the video where the guy um, gets disarmed from behind. He's, like, standing in line at, like, a McDonald's. The guy just walks up, takes his gun, and walks out, and he's like, oh, shit. He had nothing, um, no ability to react in time. So if you're going to be carrying outside the waistband, if you're going to be carrying open carrying, you got to have your head on the swivel. you got to keep your back. Don't keep your back to the door. You know, have, have situational awareness. All that good stuff. Um, Blackhawk Serpa holster.